Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we correct misrepresentation and abuse of the image of Africa as a continent. Um, I will show you this video. Please watch this video and I will come back to explain why this represents one of the utmost violation of the rights of blacks around the world and Africans around the world. Thank you. You know, Nigerians are bringing shame on Africa. Uh, Nigerians are the curse of Africa. And from Nigeria, who is the biggest curse? Igbo people. Because they are selfish and they are stubborn and they lie so well. And that is why proper investigation is needed in order to expose the devil so everybody can see him clearly. Now, let me talk about what you just saw. You saw a Thai man who basically put an African face, not yet convicted. He has not faced the rule of, he has not been brought forward to face the rule of law in Thailand, but he's already condemned as a person allegedly accused of drug trafficking. These are the words used. He was called a devil. And what is even utmost is a Nigerian who through him, the act he's allegedly convicted already of, of committing, this, this man, the law enforcement voice, which should leave us worried, condemned the whole of Nigeria, condemned all Nigerians as the curse of Africa. This man basically, basically launched a hate speech against Nigerians, and, and I'm wondering why Everybody is treating this normal. What this man, the Thai man did is a violation of the rights of blacks, the violation of the rights of, of, of Africans and the violation of all Nigerians. Nigerians should rise and ensure this does not happen again. I'm playing my part as a Nigerian, born in Nigeria and proudly so. I sp visited Thailand Last year, I just wanted to see how it was. I went with my family on vacation. It was not a pleasant visit. I realized that Thailand is a sex tourist destination. And, um, and I thought, okay, this is not for me. But it, it seems to serve the, the needs of uh, Western old men who want, to, who, are, who want to explore, who want to have sex tourism. And I thought, eh. I, ex I saw too that they had legalized cannabis. You could, you know, you could go to Thailand. It had its problem. The north of Thailand is a huge crisis region of, of significant security challenge for all who go. But Thailand blocks that off. But has the goal to call Nigeria 20, 20 million people, the most populated black country in the world, black location in the world, and to condemn Nigeria as the curse of Africa because he found one drug dealer. Why all his relatives all are basically prostitutes. Now that is a violation of my right and a viol as a Nigerian and a violation of the YouTube code, the YouTube hate speech code, because to declare that a whole country is, is a curse to a continent is hate speech. And I'm taking this further. I'm asking all Nigerians to join me. This cannot happen again. If this Nigerian committed a crime in, in Thailand, he should face the law and deal with the consequences. But I and my children as a Nigerian and my generation and the future cannot be condemned by one Thai voice, which is sickening and scary that to, that now my own people as Nigerians are the curse of Africa. That Thai man who spoke should leave the law enforcement in Thailand and go become a preacher. He definitely must be fired. I'll be communicating with the Thai embassies in all African countries where I know this will not go unchallenged. And I visited Thailand a year ago, a year and a half ago. I will not be going back, by the way. Thank you. Join me. We cannot let Nigeria be addressed like this.